Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead magnet within system.io. This is a popular question that I see asked in the Facebook group. We're actually not going to build the lead magnet within system. I'm just going to show you how to attach it. So let's dive into my computer. I just finished up this lead magnet just the other day, Tuesday night. I sat down, wrote it out. It took me about an hour to write out. Don't overthink it. Uh, I use Google Docs for all, for all my lead magnets. So it doesn't need to be pretty, it doesn't need to be fancy. I'll have a designer pretty this up. But for right now, this is going to work. What I like to do before I set up my lead magnet, I like to have it short. I recommend one to five minutes long. So I go up to tools, word count. As you can see, it's 1500 words. They say the average reader reads 300 words a minute. So this is about five minutes long. And to be honest, this is probably a bit too long. Um, at some point, I'll go in there and kind of trim it down and get it to the three or four minute range. Uh, but for right now, I wanna set it up and show you how to do this. So this looks good for me. So what I'm going to do is go to file, download, and we're going to go to PDF. I'm not going to create a cover or anything like that. Again, it's about getting, taking fast action and just getting this damn thing uh, written out, saved as a PDF and uploaded into your funnel. So as you can see it downloaded here, what I'm going to do is go over to system. All right. So what we'll do within system, we will go to emails and go to campaigns. So as you can see, I already have a campaign here. What you'd need to do is click create. I don't have a sexy or flashy name quite yet. I'll change that at some point digital asset case study. So I'm going to open up this one. What we're going to do is write the first email and I'm going to show you how to attach that PDF within this first email. So here's the campaign. There's nothing in there yet. We'll go to add an email. For subject line, I pretty much just hit a couple of uh, letters. Just for now, we're going to change that in a minute. I like to use the classic editor, click create. And here is our email. So what I do is I have a template for all my welcome emails that I use uh, for most of my lead magnets. And so it's right here. So what I'm going to do is just grab this and put it in the subject line. I'm going to change the name. Let's see what the amount was. $17,000. I'll put that case study. Now I might change that down the line, but for right now that works. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the email, highlight it all, copy it, enter it in here. And then I'm going to just delete this link here because we don't need that and delete this link here. We don't need that. And then all you're going to do is go scroll up to this right hand side attachments, click add attachment, choose file. And we're going to upload the PDF that we just created right from our Google Doc here. There we go, we have it attached. Now let me just scroll through the email, make sure it looks decent. That looks good. I will delete this PS because it doesn't really apply. And that will be it. And so what we'll do is go over to save and publish. And this is gonna be our first email we send out when they add their name and their email on our landing page. We want this email to go out right away. So what we're gonna do is just do zero and we'll click minutes. After, there's no other emails. This is the very first email, so there's no after to select. I'm not gonna mess with these two toggle switches either. We'll click publish, and there we go. Now we have email number one with our attachment. So that is how you set up a lead magnet, or that's how you set up a lead magnet in Google Docs, save it as a PDF, and then attach it within system.io. It's a very, very simple process. However, I see a lot of people in the Facebook group ask for this question. Don't overcomplicate it. Like I said, when you're creating a lead magnet, it doesn't need to be long. I recommend one to five minutes 
minutes long. Uh, like I said, mine's a little bit long on the 1500 words, I think it was, or 1300 words, whatever it was. That's a little bit long. You don't want to have it too long because they're not going to read it. So something short, a checklist, a cheat sheet, those are two great ones. Case studies work well because people want to see how things are done. That's why I can kind of get away with five minutes, although I'm going to want to trim it down a little bit. But that is how you set up a lead magnet. Again, don't overcomplicate it. You don't need to make it look pretty. Look at this. Let me scroll through the case study. It's just white with black text. I got a couple of images, a couple of screenshots in there. That's it. It doesn't need to be fancy. You can design it later on. You can uh, build, uh, hire a designer to build a cover later on. But for right now, when you're getting started, just get the damn thing out there. I find so many people over analyze it and, and are striving for perfection. And Gary Vee said something years ago. He said, perfection is a mask for insecurity. So get the damn thing out there. Also, if you're interested in this lead magnet, check out the link down below. It'll be adamdukes.com forward slash wow, W-O-W, -W, adamdukes.com forward slash wow. And you can download this, uh, this case study of how I generated $17,000 in just on, uh, 30 days on Facebook by making one simple Facebook post. So that is how you uh, attach a lead magnet into system and get your funnel up and running. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training and make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification. Cause like I said, I got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io adamdukes.com forward slash S Y S like I said, you get access to uh, $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.